It's now 11 minutes before 7. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for waking up with the Valley today. I'm Lisa Bedeau. We're starting our nonstop news and weather to the top of the hour to help you plan your day. And we start with new information on a story that we brought to you first last night on Valley News Live. A mother and daughter escaped without injury from a house fire in Great Bend. That's in Richland County, just about 20 miles south of Wapaton. Firefighters responded to the call shortly after 6 p.m. As many as five agencies were at the home at one time trying to put the fire out. Richland County officials say they believe the cause of the fire was an unattended candle burning in a room of the house. The house is considered a total loss. The Red Cross is assisting two people from the home. The Great Bend Fire Department is still investigating. Also new for you this morning, firefighters rushed to a Fargo motel last night after getting reports of a fire. The call came in shortly before 11.30 last night. When officials arrived at the Motel 6 on 36th Street South, it turned out the fire was small and was contained to one room, which was evacuated before they arrived. An employee at the Motel 6 said the fire set off a smoke alarm and alerted the fire department. No one was hurt. Firefighters are still investigating the cause of that fire. Coming up on 651, time for weather on the ones, and we check in with meteorologist Robert Hahn. A lot of fire calls, and of course, not ideal at any time to fight a fire, but uh, wow, to be forced outside in the cold, it's so cold this morning. Yeah, a tough go of it for first responders and anybody uh, that is affected by uh, fires, uh, car crashes, anything along those lines. Do take care as you head out and about, and uh, we do have increasing traffic along I-94 as we take a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. As Folks, head back to work after the uh, Christmas weekend. Current temperature, bundle up as you head out the door, zero. It feels more like minus 10 and winds out of the north and northwest at five miles per hour. Elsewhere across the region, we've got temperatures above and below zero. Minus 11 at Grand Forks, been the cold spot all morning. Zero up in Langdon, minus three in at Devils Lake, three above in Crookston and one in Thief River Falls, Roseau, and in Wadena. You factor in some breezes out there and in many cases, Fortunately, those winds are rather light, but strong enough to create some very cold wind chills. Jamestown and Langdon, minus 20, minus 19 in Bedette, 23 below in Devil's Lake, 17 below in Valley City and in Oaks. Cloud cover, it's slowly increasing from south to north, and this just some high, thin, serious cloudiness. And we'll see the clouds uh, thicken and lower as we head through the day today and late tonight and through the day tomorrow. We'll have a chance for some snow across portions of the southern valley, but at this point, not seeing any precipitation out there. It is dry, but off towards the south and southeast, quite a mess. Look at that. State of Iowa, the entire state of Iowa under a winter storm warning. In fact, many areas around this region in a winter storm warning. That includes the Twin Cities. We'll show you that here in just a moment. Freezing rain, sleet, snow. That stretches all the way through northern Illinois, northern Indiana, northwestern Ohio. A big mess along both I-80 and I-90 into those areas. And zooming on out to the national map, Rain, snow, sleet, freezing rain falling in parts of Oklahoma, and a couple of tornado watches continue across the southeast, as do numerous severe thunderstorm warnings and a couple of tornado warnings. Your hour-by-hour -hour forecast as we head through the day today, we'll see increasing clouds southeast to northwest across the region, high temperatures in the uh, teens and uh, 20s. And here comes that snow. It's going to take, it's, take its time to get on in here, and uh, most of us are going to be snow-free, but it's across the far south, especially as we head through the day tomorrow. We'll see a chance for some snow across the region, and that's the best chance for some accumulating snow. The rest of us, maybe some flurries or a few snow showers. Winter weather advisory across the far south, stretching east and south. Winter storm warnings off towards the southeast includes the cities three to six inches possible in the advisory areas, six to ten in the winter storm warning areas. Upper teens, low 20s as we hit through the next couple of days, that chance for some snow, possibly lingering as a few flurries early Wednesday, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, looking nice, but cold and not quite as cold as we head through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, that's a very nice forecast for the start of January. You're welcome. <laughs> Still giving gifts, even after Christmas. Exactly. Thank you, Robert. Mm -hmm. It's now seven minutes before seven. A fire was quickly put out by an employee at a retirement home in Fargo yesterday. Fargo firefighters responded around 2 p.m. to Bethany Homes and found light smoke from a small fire that was luckily contained to a mechanical room. An employee using a fire extinguisher put it out. Firefighters removed a small amount of smoldering material and used fans to ventilate smoke from the first and second floor. No one had to be evacuated since the fire was so quickly extinguished. 
A GoFundMe page has raised more than $4,000 for a Moorhead family who is without a home after a fire on Christmas. A stovetop burner in the basement is what caused the blaze that killed three cats. Nine people and a dog were able to get out of the home safely. There's extensive smoke damage to the entire home. The link for that GoFundMe page is on our webpage. Just head to valleynewslive.com and look for this story. The deadline for Minnesotans who qualify for financial help available only through Minsure is today. That deadline was extended after some health insurance companies expressed interest in offering plans through the end of the month. The enrollment deadline extension is not in response to any system issues or technical problems. If you don't sign up, you could potentially face a nearly $700 fine. In an effort to keep our roads safe, the Grand Forks Police Department is taking part in Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over. Extra officers will be working targeted enforcement patrols until December 31st. Officers taking part in this campaign will be actively enforcing traffic laws and specifically looking for signs of impaired drivers. The public is encouraged to remember the North Dakota DOT's code for the road. For those driving tips, head to valleynewslive.com and click on the story. Prices at the pump have dipped to a seven-year low. Great for this holiday travel season. Locally, gas has remained below $2 a gallon since Thanksgiving. If compared to a gallon of milk, the difference in price is about a dollar. Currently, a gallon of milk ranges around the $3 mark. Both can be considered fuel, of course, just for different reasons. Although we've seen low prices at the pump, this is the first time since March of 2009 where national gas prices have dipped below $2 a gallon. In just two short weeks, we'll be talking about the finish of the FCS National Championship. The Bison going for their fifth straight championship title. And we will get our first chance to hear from the players on Tuesday. But we also want to remind you to mark this on your calendars to join us for our coverage leading up to the game. Our Farmers Union Insurance Bison football pregame show begins Saturday, January 9th at 9.30 a.m. The hour and a half long show will feature our crew in Frisco, Texas, talking to former players and getting their take on the game. It's a show you don't want to miss. The American Red Cross has founded over what was founded over 130 years ago by Clara Barton with the mission of supporting service members and their families. The Valley Today's Christy Larson joins us live in studio this morning to talk more about how that remains a big part of the Red Cross mission. Good morning, Christy. Good morning. That's right. And I'm here with Keith Huff. And I know that it's important for you guys to be reaching out to families in need, especially service members, too. Yes. Um, that's one of the big parts of our mission is to um, connect service members and their families, especially during times of emergency and stuff like that. We're uh, federally mandated to be the link between family members back here and then service members that are stationed abroad. And it's very rewarding. And so what, what is part of that passion for you? Well, I, I'm, I'm a former service member. I'm a retired uh, old guy. And uh, so to be part of that system on the receiving end, it's been really beneficial to be on the generating end and to understand both sides of the equation. So, And we've talked about it before. I mean, there's so many different things that the Red Cross reaches out and helps family members with because incidents really can happen all, all of a sudden and you never know what kind of a disaster it might be. No, and I'm fortunate that sometimes my news is good news. Mm -hmm. You know, if we notify somebody of a birth or something good in the family or tragedies, but it's fun to get those we just had a baby call and, and we get our service members. So. <laughs> Again, so much important work being done at the Red Cross. And we talked about it earlier. They also help with preparations for kids. They also help with first aid for pets. So there's a lot more information that they have up on their website. And to Lisa, also a lot of apps, both on Google Play and on iTunes, if you need a little bit of extra help on knowing how to get yourself and your family prepared. Great advice this morning. Thank you, Christy. Christy Larson reporting live in studio for us. Freezing temperatures couldn't keep away sleigh riders yesterday afternoon. The Moorhead Parks Department is offering the sleigh rides around Viking Ship Park through Wednesday. Riders get a chance to take pictures with the horses and cozy up with some blankets on the sleigh. The event runs from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Tickets for the sleigh rides, just $4 per person and free for those little ones, two or younger. Let's get our answer now to our question of the morning on Facebook. Today's question, 1.7 billion of these are made every year. I was still in the holiday spirit when I picked this question. The answer, candy canes. How many candy canes did you eat this year, Robert Hahn? You can take part in our question of the Zero. morning on our Valley News Live Facebook page. What? 
go ahead and join the conversation. I like the new, like, you know, the peppermint I've ones. I've been a huge but fan I, of candy canes. I like candy. the, oh, you know, sugar ones now. Yeah. Oh, well. All oh, right. well. Let's take a look at temperature-wise across the region. Hey, we've warmed up to minus 10 now in Grand Forks. <laughs> it's still zero here in Fargo, zero Valley City, Oaks, and in Langdon. Light winds enough to create some very cold wind chills. Minus 19 in Langdon, 20 below in Devil's Lake. Clouds continue to increase, and they're going to produce some snow, but not doing so right now. As we head through the overnight hours tonight through the day Tuesday, winter weather advisory far south and points to the east. Winter storm warning for the cities, 3 to 6 inches possible in the winter weather advisory areas, 6 to 10 down in the cities. Bundle up if you're heading yeah. out. Thanks for waking up with the Valley today. More local news and weather in just 25 minutes. Take care.